G'day everyone, we're here today just to talk about stacking hay in a shed. So before we start on talking about stacking hay in a shed, what we've got here is three bales high that have been stacked in the paddock. So they've come in really good. So if Simone comes a little bit closer, she'll see that they're all straight and level. And then if you come on the side there, the side angle, you'll see all of the bales are nice and level. And then even if you come around here, you'll see the edges all level. So that's an important part because if it's like that, you can take it straight off the truck from up the paddock and then we can put it straight onto the haystack. Uh, you can see here where I've got the forks in, that's about where we wanna have the forks hitting the bottom bale. So not too far at the top, not too far at the bottom, about in the middle, then it won't move too much. Uh, we've got three bales high, so this... And just show us just the line where the top of that bottom bale is. Uh, pretty much, where are we? There, pretty much there. So it's about halfway in between, I suppose. Maybe a little bit on the lower side, but you can see a line in the bale. So if you have a look here, Simone, even the top one's a good example. You can see that line there is roughly the middle. So we're just aiming to hit that. Yep. So what we've got here is a set of forks that is suited for three bales. So you can see that one all sit back there. If you were to stack four bales high, you have to be very careful because the top one can fall off and land on the telehandler. So what I'm driving here today is a telehandler. We're very good because I can reach up. Uh, this is a seven meter boom. So we're actually stacking some nine high here, not the whole three rows wide, but just a couple of rows wide, just to try and get better efficiency. So yeah, pretty much, We'll stop the video now, and then we'll take another video of me just going about the stacking process. overlapping the other and then the vice versa on top as well so that all links it in it doesn't have to be overlapping all the way or half the way but we just need to lock lock it in just a bit like brickwork really yep so when i'm coming in i'm coming in with a down low and then i'm getting to the position of lifting it high you know there's a bit of instability there if if you're a bit nervous you might have to drop it back down and reposition the bale but you just take it easy and then you just drive in just at the end to push it right into location. So that's pretty much how we build a stack. We just, a base layer of three, then a middle layer of three, and then a top layer of three, and we never stack them equally on top of each other in three piece parcels, if that makes sense. So we'll have three there, then we'll have them linked up by crossing over, and then we'll have them linked up again. And that just distributes the weight more evenly across Two, two piles of bales rather than just balancing on one. Yeah, that's right. So it stops them sort of falling forward or falling back. But equally, if you have a look here, if you look at that one there, where the, the fur bale is up the top, I've linked in the middle ones as well. So that stops them falling left or right or falling out. So we could go three high and three wide at the top but just for ease i'm just doing two wide at the top but that gives me a chance to link in the bales <laughs> 